Hello everyone and welcome to another A Thousand Ways tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to create a simple horizontal navigation here in Dreamweaver CS6. Now as you can see when I hover over a link my text becomes bolder and my blue color is lighter. Now you can do whatever you want with this. The files you can retrieve at the A Thousand Ways website. The link is in the description below so be sure to check that out. So I'm going to create a new document by going to file and clicking new or you can use the keyboard shortcut of command or control N. Once that's done HTML is already selected which is what I want and I'm going to click this drop down menu here and select HTML5. Once that's done I'm going to click create and out of habit we're going to name our document which you always want to apply a title to any page of your website that you're working on. So we're going to call this Simple Horizontal Navigation. And we have our title made up and now we're going to set up our document so that we can create our navigation bar. So I'm just going to click enter three times and just come up one line and I'm going to start creating style tags and this will be where our CSS styling goes most times you will have a separate CSS styling sheet especially if you're working on a big website and you'll probably have more than one but for this simple demonstration you can just apply your style within the HTML page so we're not really going to deal with this right now. We'll come back to it and we're going to go over to body. And I want to apply a top margin mainly because uh, we don't want our navigation to be touching the very tip top of our document here. So I'm just going to put that on in there. You'll see what that does later on. Now we're just going to hit enter three more times just to create space I'll go up one line and I'm going to put a nav tag this is a HTML5 tag so if you're worried about browser compatibility then just have a diff tag if you want it's entirely up to you and within this nav I'm going to apply a diff tag which will function as a wrapper for our navigation. So I'll put div ID equals navigation. And end our div here. So within that, we're going to have an unordered list. So I'll just tab UL. and UL. And within this UL you must have your list items. And that's basically where you get your links going. So here we're just going to tab LI and we're also going to import like a link. So I'll simply have ahref equals since I'm not really linking this to anything I'll just put in our pound key uh, so it can hold that and then we end our link here and now we end our list item so me just for the sake of time I'm just going to copy this about three more times And once that's done, you want to input your uh, link name. So let's just say we're doing a portfolio site. I'll put home. Uh, next one would be about. Uh, and after that, I guess gallery. And last but not least, contacts. And there you have your HTML list set up. So I'm just going to click refresh so you can see what's going on here. 
and as you can see we have a list of links and I'm just going to click live so you can see how it look as if it was on an actual website so once that's done we want to start styling it so we'll go into our style area and put navigation li so we're going to style our list items first and once that's done first I want to apply my font which I'll have it 32 pixels uh, and Arial is a pretty good font so oops misspelled it Arial and now I want to have a display of inline and this will basically make our navigation horizontal and now list style type to get rid of those bullet points we're going to apply none and now I'll just refresh that and you can see what happened here so like I said display inline makes our links line up next to each other to make it horizontal and list style type set to none takes away those uh, ugly bullet points here so now we're going to press enter and pound navigation and we're going to start styling our links so first up I'm going to apply padding of about 25 pixels I guess and a background color I love blue so of course it has to be a blue color like this if you love blue <laughs> just kidding um, and color set to uh, white and color just tells you what your text is going to uh, be so and we want to get rid of the text decoration which is the underline so just apply text decoration none and that's basically it for our links. Now we just want to apply a hover effect. So pound navigation a hover and now we'll just simply apply a background color and a font weight. So background color would be, um, I guess, uh, zero. Let me see. Yep, that's pretty good. And font weight bold. And now we can simply look at that so and that's exactly what I showed you earlier so once again thank you guys for all the support I hope to see you in the next a thousand ways tutorial